How you doing, YouTube? Matt, Massive Beer Reviews, back with another mystery beer. Oh, mystery beers, how I love thee. What are mystery beers? People send me beers. They wrap them up in shrouds of awesomeness. I open them, I crack them, I talk about them, I drink them. Sometimes I guess the beers. I guess a whole lot of things, and uh, it's pretty fun. Uh, strips all pretension from the whole kind of beer review, beer tasting uh, thing that... I kind of do. And, uh, yeah, I think that's a good thing. Uh, this one comes courtesy of Steven. Thank you very much, brother. As you can see, beautifully wrapped. Bounty paper towel. Super high-grade uh, blue tape. No way I'm getting into this sucker. Let's push that tape down so we don't get it on there. Crack it up and see what she's got. So, i got a telltale little blue uh, pull tab here. No, I don't know what that means. Uh, sometimes when you get these kind of black... Pull tabs, I kind of think they're from the Alchemist because he tends to use those quite a bit. With this beer coming, you can see right there, a little blue pull tab there. Uh, this coming up from a Connecticut way, you'd be like, okay, that would make sense. But blue, I have no idea who does those. Uh, index finger, infinite creaminess. And she's got a nice soft haze on her. Definitely looks like a pale ale, hazy New England style IPA. So, it's got a nose. Much the same. Um, I'm going pale right off the bat. Um, like grapefruit zest. Citrus leaning, bright citrus, not a thick, rich kind of from concentrate orange juice, more of a spritesy kind of mimosa y kind of um, grapefruit and OJ kind of vibrant kind of vibe to it. Yeah, and there's a soft kind of rindy bitterness in there, not much as far as dankness or greenness or hop pelletness. So you talk about this being aggressively hop, sure. Is it, is it given like the crazy hop treatment of double dry hopping, whatever that may be? Mm. Yeah, maybe. I just think she's just aggressively hopped. So let's put that way. Which is kind of what dry hopping is anyway. So anyway, let's jump into the sucker. Cheers. Mm. Okay. Big bittering component in there. Big bittering component. Definitely comes off super like grapefruit ha uh, mashed up with um, kind of like a... Um, O OJ orange vibes. Nothing too crazy though. Until I start to kind of sit here and think, okay, I think this is a lower ABV beer. Probably more in the pale ale region. Kind of has how the nose is kind of leading me on to believe. A knee jerk reaction, I think this is like your 5%, low sixes, high 5% pale ale. Aggressively hop. Tastes like a Chilean beer to me a little bit. Nice, creamy, soft mouthfeel. Nothing too dense, nothing too thick, but it's definitely not thin. Super drinkable. I mean, I probably drank half of that already. Um, that bittering is is so welcome with that sweetness because there is a nice sweetness to it, but it's so welcome, especially that kind of rindy, pithy grapefruit thing. Um, while I get a ton of grapefruit in beers, I, you really don't get that kind of bittering kind of grapefruit. More times than not, it's either hot pellet green or some kind of just super generic citrus. This is definitely grapefruit leaning. Rich, nice, tasty. This reminds me of a Trillium beer. I'm not saying it is a Trillium beer, but it reminds me of one of their lower ABV offerings. And that's it. That's all I got for you. It is somebody's pale ale, lower in ABV. Like I said, I'm guessing high fives, low sixes. Um, and, uh, you know, she's got that extra hop treatment, but nothing too crazy. It's tasty, though. I like it. It's a good beer. Um, probably one of the better, if it is a lower ABV beer, we're talking about. If this gets under five, I'm gaga. Uh, but if we're talking just generic kind of like, um, with this beer being what it is, if this is going to come in at sub five, it's going to be one of the better low ABV beers I've had this year. So let's see what this sucker has. Definitely not a trillion beer. This is Long Island City, LIC. I haven't had one of their beers in quite some time. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is absolutely delicious stuff. Which is kind of, I don't know, bunk? Is that the word I want to go with? Stupid. Because, uh, yeah, they're not too far away from me and I can kind of get their beers. So I really need to jump on that shit. But this is their uh, Party Crasher. 
this is our India Pale Ale at 5.5%. So it's pretty much dead on with the ABV. Government warning stuff there. Bah, 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 bah. Party Crasher. They call it India Pale Ale. It's more just like a super hazy pale to me more than anything else. And on the bottom we have nothing. So I had no idea when it's canned. But yeah, that's a pretty cool can. You can see it, it's kind of got that... Um, that bowl, it looks like the bowl, the statue that's in uh, Chicago. Is it Chicago, right? Um, yeah, that's a really, con that's a festive can you have going on there. But yeah, this is a really great beer. Listen, you know, lower EV, EBV, hazy pale, that reminds me of Trillium. You're pretty much in the kind of awesome sauce kind of world as far as who makes what and who makes it well. Uh, so, you know what I mean, with them kind of pulling off something that really had me leaning in that direction, they're obviously doing something right. It's definitely a bittering beer, which is the cool part about it, too, with it being that lower ABV. But it's also drinkable. It's weird. It's not like something that weighs super heavy on your palate. So you'd be able to drink it while at the same time get the super impact on the bittering side, which is fun. There's enough sweetness to bounce everything off. It's a sweet beer, but it, it just gives you those gobs of citrus vibes, leaning grapefruit that I love so much, especially in the lower ABV beer. So even before, like I said, I wrapped it, I gotta start doing that. I gotta say if I really like it or not, because that's kind of the cusp of the whole thing. Do I really like it or not? It's kind of when you, you know, whatever, they deconstruct the beer review thing down to me talking way too long or saying weird fucking words in a, in the grand scheme of things, it's do I like it or don't I? And this is pretty damn good stuff. So let's talk about it. It's one of the better uh, low ABV pale ales. They call it an IPA, I call it pale. Pale ales that I've had as of late, yes. Uh, uh, yeah, it's up there. Uh, it's absolutely delicious, and I want more. Value and availability, no idea. But like I said, you can see LIC stuff on the shelves in and around North Jersey. So there's that. I think North Jersey. Am I thinking of New York State? I know they're in New York State. But anyway, you can get them and leave you with, if you like what, will you like this beer? If you like low ABV trillion beers, obviously. Or if you just like low ABV impactful, um, what is it going to be? Citrus, uh, Galaxy, probably Hops. I'm assuming, who knows, um, people better than me, maybe, but, uh, if you like your grapefruit-leaning beers, you'll like this, uh, especially if it's low ABV, you can have a couple of them and then just drink one. Let's, and I didn't actually even touch on that, this is, drinks kind of, impact-wise, closer to 8% than it does 5.5, that's why I dig it, but you can tell that it's not a huge ABV beer, that's the part of it that really kind of turns me out, so there you go, another review in the books. Another mystery beer review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, down here if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice mystery beer right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.